All right, with five victories under his belt, Commander Keen has earned himself a little R&R, &R, right? Well, not quite. It looks like Commander Keen is needed once more. This time his babysitter Molly has been kidnapped by the Blues, and it's up to Keen to save her before she gets eaten. You know, if I was a Hollywood director and I was to make these six games into movies, the first three would be theatrical releases. Episodes four and five would either be theatrical releases or direct-to-video. Episode six would be direct-to-video for sure. This is also the only Commander Keen game in the series not to be published by Apogee. It's published by Formgen, but still developed by id. To make a long story short, the company wanted to shift their attention towards Wolfenstein 3D and Doom. Interestingly, another series, The Universe's Toast, was planned for development but got cancelled due to the success that Wolfenstein 3D and Doom brought. Surprisingly, there is a mod called The Universe's Toast. Hmm. With that said, let's get back to the game. For the most part, there isn't much to talk about. It's all pretty much the same. Get from point A to point B, collect 100 vivas to get an extra life, and so on. The only minor difference this time around is that you have to collect three items, a sandwich, grappling hook, and rocket access card. Haven't seen that before a million times. The graphics and music are good, but not as memorable as in Goodbye Galaxy. The enemies are quite unique this time. The main stars are the Bloogs. They come in mini, regular, and guard varieties. There are dudes with enormous buck teeth that can reflect your shots, little red guys who shoot fireballs, and more, depending on difficulty. To be honest, there isn't much else to say about this game other than play only if you're a fan of the series. Otherwise, skip it and stick to the first five games. Aliens Ate My Babysitter gets two stars out of five. Now that I think about it, this is the second game where Commander Keen plays the role of an antagonist because he is invading another planet and killing its life forms. Kind of disturbing, don't you think?